Today we're going to make some green beans, or in France we call them hericots verts, or hericots verts provençal. Um, in France they're often really small and petite, uh, so you might cook them whole. But here in the United States we often get some nice big juicy green beans. Um, and these are from the grocery store, or you could get them at the farmer's market. Either way, they are a huge improvement over your frozen green beans, although frozen on the spot at the farm, there's nothing actually better than fresh green beans made in your own kitchen. So let's take some green beans and we're going to just rinse them out real quickly in the sink. Uh, give them a nice wash just to make sure it's got all the, the lovely earth off them. And we're going to take them and because they're so big, we're going to cut them into smaller, almost bite-sized pieces. Not too small, but um, something that's a little bit easier to, to pop in your mouth when they're all cooked. So um, my mom thinks I'm crazy. She likes to pick off each end one by one. I find it takes kind of a long time. So I actually did see this when we were, used, when we were living in France. People actually did take scissors, grabbed a bunch of green beans, and snipped off the ends. Very easy. Pop the other ends. You're all done. You've got a nice big chunk of green beans. And then these aren't actually so giant, so I'm just going to cut them in half. Kids, be careful when you're doing this at home. But again, your kids can do this with a pair of kitchen scissors. It's really easy to just grab a bunch of beans, cut off each end, and then get them down the middle. So really fast. You can even just take a couple at a time. There you go. Pop them in a bowl. So that's pretty simple. So we're going to do that to all the rest of these. Bite size. So there we go. Those are ready to go. Let's take these over to the pan where we're going to saute them really quickly on the stovetop. So, actually, I'm going to put them over to the side here. Light the stove. Okay. Again, we're not going to boil them. And we're going to saute them a little bit here. So they're going to get, again, a nice sauteed flavor, a little nutty, a little bit caramelized if we can. There we go. You also need a pan pretty heavy pan if you can, and a tight fitting lid, any kind, um, that will help them steam as well as saute. So let's see, before we put the beans in, we need a little olive oil. So it could be, again, about a tablespoon, maybe a little bit more. You have to kind of coat the pan and coat the beans just a little bit. And heat the pan, heat that olive oil so it's nice and warm and it's ready to grab those green beans as soon as they come in. Okay. So, in go the green beans. And you can hear that nice sizzling. I'm going to give them a quick stir. Kind of coat the green beans a little bit. They'll get that nice olive oil flavor on them. It'll be delicious. And because these are pretty sturdy, they're pretty hearty vegetables, they need a little bit of water to help that steam process get going. So, just pour a splash on. Again, maybe just a couple tablespoons. Cover them. You list them for them. There's a nice little sizzle. Keep them on about medium heat. Again, you want it fairly warm to get them going, but you don't want them to burn. They can burn pretty easily, so you just keep an ear on them. Keep a hot pad ready because you want to get in there and stir them occasionally. I might just keep an eye at the beginning to make sure there's enough olive oil and water. Now we're just going to let them sit. This might take between 8 to 10 minutes for them to get really soft, and again, you could have them Really soft if your kids like soggy ones. You could have them a little bit al dente if you want a nice firm, but kind of a crunchiness to them. Um, so again, it's up to your family how you want to, what kind of uh, texture you want in your green beans. So we're gonna let them sit for a few minutes. All right, I'm gonna pick up the lid here and take another stir. Yeah, it looks good. There's still a little bit of juice at the bottom here, so they're cooking, but they're not burning. They're almost done. I'm gonna take this opportunity to put a little seasoning on them. So again, just a little bit of salt kosher, sea salt, whatever you like. That's about a teaspoon of salt and maybe a little less. Again, depending on your family's likes and dislikes. A little garlic powder to give it a nice little zippy flavor. And a couple stirs in terms of the pepper. And then usually some kind of herb. And you could use thyme. I'm going to use a little tarragon that I grew in my garden. So we can only grow up here in Washington State during the summer then it kind of dies. So I pick all the extra and dry it. It's really easy and just keep a nice jar full of it through the winter time. So a little tarragon on the green beans. Give it another stir. 
So you can see they've done some steaming and some sauteing. So you get the nice sort of sauteed flavor and the steaming helps cook them on the inside so they get nice and soft. Yep, I think that's pretty good. So we're just going to finish those off and get a serving plate. They'll be all ready in just a minute. Oh. Okay, see, got that nice green flavor, a little bit of browning on them, which will be nice and delicious. So, on to the plates. And again, these are really good right out of the pots. Just don't burn your tongue. Or they're really good room temperature if you want to make them for an, a dinner party and just have them sitting on a buffet. That's really great too. They're just delicious at room temperature or cold out of the fridge for a midnight snack. They're also really tasty. So there we go. Got some lovely green beans, Provencal with a little tarragon. And we're all set. <laughs>